what we're going to attempt to do, well, what we're going to do is we're going to change the back rear brakes on a 2011 Dodge, <clears throat> Dodge Avenger. And uh, this will work with 2008 to 2014. The very first thing we're going to do is remove the lug nuts. And you need lug wrench, of course. And that's what I'm doing now. I think I'm standing on that. You're just getting on that. <laughs> Man. That always happens. Yeah, it always happens to me. Usually I'm laying down and it's in my face. That's the worst. You don't have to. Okay. <laughs> well, you always want to use safety when you jack up your car in case somebody comes running around and trips over the jack or whatever. <laughs> So I'm using jack stands. You put these under here, they could save your life. Okay, so you ready? All right, now the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have tools because without tools, you can't do a job. You know, so we got the, we have the car jacked up. We have the tire out of the way. We have the jack stands in place. Now we have the tools. And the very first tool you need is a 14 millimeter box wrench because in this model, the brake line is very close to the top caliper uh, bolt right here. And we're gonna loosen that up. We're not actually gonna take it all the way off. Okay, now is, this is the brake line and it is right up against this bolt. A lot of people have problems with this, but what you really have to do is you don't have to take that bolt off. You can just loosen it. God, it was under tight, but it's lo I'm loosening it up right now. See? It's loosened, and I can even kind of turn it with my fingers. Now, you get that as far as it can go loose. Okay, right here, <coughs> you take off the bottom um, caliper bolt, 14 millimeter ratchet, and this one will come off. This one will come off easily, just like that. Don't lose it. And what we're going to do, we're going to move this up like so because the back one is loose. And then the next step is we're going to take off these brakes. And the back one is on the back here, which we're going to use a flat screw. Right here. Are you recording? Yes. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to pop this front brake pad off. And you can see that it does need a brake pad. <laughs> it's kind of worn. So I'm going to put that little guy there. Now the second one that has to come out and you need to use a flathead screwdriver is right here in the back. You just use a screwdriver to pop it out and then there is the other brake shoe right there. See? Easy so far. But that is the way. Okay, you ready? Okay, what I'm doing now is the, one of the oldest tricks in the book. I'm taking this old brake pad and I'm putting it up to the to the cylinder, the brake cylinder here. And you have to push it back. You have to reset it to get it flush. And I, I'm using a tool called a C-clamp, which I'll leave a link in the description box to the video. You can see how it's pushing that back. It's resetting it. And that way the new brake pads will be able to be put on. He'd be better at conversating about games. He used to play games a lot. Now, if you can see that this right here is flush. Okay. So, what we're going to do he plays We're going to get the new brake pads. He used to play Halo a lot. It's probably before your time frame. 
Okay, ready? Are you still going? Yep, still going. Okay, this is um, this is lubrication for the brake pads because what happens when you change the brand new brake pads, they're not broken in yet and they make kind of like screeching noises and I'm just applying a light coat of this. You don't have to get real crazy with it. Box. Almost in the toolbox. Pretty, pretty close, almost as high. Our dad said he didn't need that, just throw it in trash. Well, you know what? I made a good decision that day. So, I mean, he's putting them on, but. You don't, you don't, it's not really needed, but all it does is stop noises quicker. Because if you don't get the real expensive brakes, they these type of brakes, which is just like the old type of brakes you had, until they break in, they they when you make a stop, they go a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I know that I bought them before, and Dad just threw it. <laughs> instead of just going ahead and using it because I got it. Yeah, I bought it before. Okay, what we're doing now is we're making sure that that fits in the retention bracket back here. We're putting in that rear brake. Is it like a story game? Kind of looks like a horseshoe. Okay. This right here has these clippings that fit over. And I'm going to use the um, flathead screwdriver to push this back a little bit. And what that will do. That will clip on to right there, and then you have the front part of the brake on. And then this just pushes right down, and then that's on there. And then you get the brake caliper bolt for the bottom bolt. And you line it up. So that's what I'm doing now. There's a little rubber boot. You want to make sure it's lined up. It goes in just like so. You reverse the ratchet, make sure that 14 millimeters on there. You start tightening it up until it's tight. That's what I'm doing now. Also make sure there's not any debris like on your dust shield. You check the condition of your rotors. When you're in here, make sure it's good, not warped or anything. This one looks okay. Okay, that one's tight. And then we use the we use that box wrench to tighten the top one. The one that was by the uh, brake line. There we go. That is tightened on there. So it is now ready for the tire to go back on. You want to tighten up the lug nuts tight because you don't want to be going down the road and your tire pass you up. That would be a bad thing. So until they're kind of, you can't go anymore until they kind of creak or if you're old until your back creaks, whichever one happens first. But here we go, we're tying it up. Remember to tighten these lug nuts as tight as you can get them and to repeat this exact process on the other rear side of the vehicle and then that is the way you change the brakes on that side as well. Until next time of Garage Time with Goody, you guys have a good one.